before we go. I know it's it's kind of off topic. Not really. This is in your realm. I feel like I guarantee you, you have had this conversation a million times with your friends, no doubt. Time travel. Yeah. Is this po is quantum? Does that, does no, that help it? I, is that like oh yeah. okay? The only thing, um, you know, I, I love uh, I, I love the Avengers. Uh, I, I love I, I love the the um, the uh, the in game uh, when he was like Tony Stark tells uh, Ant Man he's like, are you are you telling me your whole plan is Back to the Future? Because that, that would be bullshit. Because <laughs> he's like. No, it's a yeah, yeah. It's back to the future. <laughs> back to the future. But, but, but have you ever seen the show Fringe? Yes. Oh man, wow. I, I... If you remember the observers, you remember the guy said, "Look, here's a straw of water. It's coming in this side. It's pouring out that. That's how we think of time. It's like flowing." He said, "And this is how the observers view time. It's like everything in the beginning and the end is all at one moment. And depending on you know what meditations do and what you believe in." You know, some people believe that getting your chakras aligned and meditating stuff, you're able to get little tidbits from the future, right, to help guide your life. And so, you know, time travel, look, I time travel every day. I've literally traveled through almost an hour with you. <laughs> yeah. but, but, but I can only go forward. <laughs> um, you know, it's fascinating. I mean, you get into the mini worlds theory, you get into, you know, Maybe every time we make a decision, it's branching off, and maybe you time travel, you create other, you know, who knows? Um, it's a great topic of sci fi. I think it's a really dangerous thing. Um, I'm trying to think of what was the, there was some show that I saw that uh, it was like a Rick and Morty future, almost like that. I can't remember, but it had a, like a, you could time travel for fun. Maybe it was Failure or something, you went to the agency. Uh, maybe it was Futurama, I think. You go to the agency and you're like, I'd like to go see, you know, the whatever Olympics or the whatever. And they're like, oh, they zap you back. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, there's so much theory and it's so fascinating. Um, and I, I just wonder, you know, I wonder about time travel all the time. Every time I say something dumb to my wife, I'm like, now's when, and you like that remote control that I'm saying, I'm just like, oh, we're just going to rewind two minutes. And I'm going to say, Yes, ma'am. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think it's possible? Do you, do you? It's possible. I think it's possible potentially go forward. I don't know if it's possible to go backwards, but that's based on, I mean, that is beyond speculative. But it's just based on some of the things I've read and some of this different stuff. You know, I don't know that there's a, there's a, a way to go backwards. I, I'm kind of curious as if there's a way to go forward. Also, do I want to go forward? What about time travel and nothing? If we got hit by a big meteor, there's nothing there. There's, you know, the question is like, Good point. I, I, the other question is returning. How do you return? Like, I totally get that you might be able to go somewhere, but I, if you can't go backwards, you can only go forward, then you, it's a one-way ticket you bought. That's true. And even, even then, even if you could go anywhere, it, just, there, it seems like you could really not stick the landing on the return. That's all I'm saying. You could probably, you, you could throw things into some pretty big chaos. <laughs> but no, time travel is super fascinating. I'm, I'm not an expert on it. I would love to do it. I would, do, again, go into space time travel, do it in a heartbeat. Is it possible? I mean, from what I've read, from what I've ascertained, there's potential to go forward. I don't know that you can go backwards. And, you know, maybe that's even, you know, like a lot of physics and stuff. And all due respect to my current physicist and everybody out there, there's a lot of science that is, more you know it should be science fiction in the universities sometimes because it's a little more fiction than it is actual science right i mean yeah. but that's how we got to where we're at right einstein and and sure you know irving and schrodinger and everybody they they pontificate and they they postulate things and then we try to test them and see that's the whole wonderful process uh so you know maybe there's a group out there doing it with time travel or maybe everybody should go see tenet only in theaters that's why I bring you know, at, at ten and, uh, that's how they paid me my 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 uh, I don't I didn't get paid by them. I was gonna make up an amount and it's like it can't be worth much to go see Kenneth coronavirus. <laughs> that's how I got that I bought another Dr. Pepper right there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, I'm actually upset about that. The reason uh, the reason I bring that up is a good point to end. I'm actually mad at my team. Uh, and I'm happy to let them know on your show. Because they went to see they rented an Alamo draft house yesterday and they went to do a little team bonding they haven't seen each other in months and they went to see um, Mad Max Fury Road and 
I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I gotta focus on some stuff here. So the team goes, they come back, and they're like, man, I am so confused about that movie. And I was like, right, but it's like uh, blowing up, explosion, explosion, music, crazy, lots of explosion. Like, what didn't you get? No, 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 we saw Tenet. I was like, what? Oh, well, Mad Max didn't work in the projector. The guy said, uh, would you like to see Jurassic Park or, or Tenet? We can, we'll, we'll play either one for you. And so they picked Tenet. And I was like, that's the one movie I actually want to see right now because of the weird time travel. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but because of the plot, which is so interesting from a time travel perspective that, that you're going to go to, you're going to battle somebody that's moving forward in time while you're moving backward in time, like catching the bullets and stuff. That stuff, that whole concept's fascinating. Uh, but they said it was super confusing, so they'll go see it with me again. <laughs> They're like, Dude, think they need to watch it a second time. It's uh, it's actually the reason I brought up the question was Tenet, because I saw the movie, and yeah, they used time. You seen the movie already? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Fuck you, too. I like <laughs> Everybody's seen the movie but me. This is horrible. You really need to see it. Like, this is your type of, you're, you'll, ex- you'll understand. I, I'm super excited to see it. I'm totally, I've already told my wife, I'm like, do you want to see this? Because if not, I'm going by myself to see yeah. this. I want to see that movie. It's great. Um, you know, the ideas are there. and no, no, tri- spoilers, the, spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I told you. It's, it's a great movie. Uh, but that's definitely why I brought it up. And I saw Bill and Ted's Face the Music, right? So, you know, I just thought, well, let, let me ask somebody who could actually have a legit answer uh, about this, right? Than just myself. I mean, you know, there's the old interstellar time travel, right? Where depending on time and that's like a different form of time travel. I mean, like back to time travel. Yeah, we know so little about so many things. Who knows what's possible? And that's what's great. We live in the greatest time to be alive. When I started messing around with tech, I said cut the UPC codes out of cereal boxes and (laughs) ship them off. And maybe eight to 12 weeks later, I got like the first piece of something. And now, you know, my 24-year-old can go on Amazon and set up a whole web servers and websites on Wix or whatever the hell. And then he's, you know, ordered a computer and all the office supplies and everything. And oh, by the way, the delivery in time, so in two hours, it's like, poof, company. You know, and it's like, what an incredible time to be alive in, not just from that perspective, but because we are probably going to go to Mars in, in, in before you and I die. We are going to make all these discoveries in quantum. We're going to do this stuff. It's just an incredible time to be alive. I see everybody so upset about elections and this and that, and those are all important. They're all problems. But we don't often, you know, look at all of the amazing things that are going on all around us every day. Yeah. SpaceX in 15 minutes sent what 60 small satellites to space in a rocket and deployed them in 15 minutes and then it came back and landed on a boat I, in the waves yeah it's not <gasps> why are people not more excited about that <laughs> i'm blown away by that. i think people don't know to be excited right they just think oh well, i thought we I thought they've already been able to do that, right? So to them, maybe I, I'm guessing, right? Like, oh, th- what are the, what is that? I don't know, you know. Possibly, quite possibly. I, think, I don't know, but I'm with you. I saw that video, and it's absolutely fascinating, and uh, you know, I can't wait for all of that to, you know, move forward. <laughs>